So up till now, our programs have been able to store um, things in memory while the program is running, but when the program ends, we lose our, our data. Um, so it may be helpful to be able to store stuff and retrieve stuff from external files. What do I mean by external files? I mean literally a document that is saved onto the computer. Um, so we're going to look at how to read in from files first. Uh, so I've got a little CPP file set up here with just some basic stuff in it. Um, over here in my workspace, I have a folder created. I'm going to go ahead and make an external file in this thing just so we can see how to read in from it. So this guy is going to be called uh, sample.txt. And let's just go put some text in it. This text inside my sample file. Here is the second line of text. Even more. 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 This is a lot of text. Okay, let's save that. Okay. So the first thing I got to do to be able to read from a file is include another library, and that library is fstream, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to change the course of the input from the keyboard um, as the source to the file as the source. Okay. Um, the next thing I have to do is declare a variable to um, represent that stream. So if I'm reading in from a file, it's ifstream as the type. That's short for in file stream. And then I choose the name of my stream variable. I like to call them like in file or input or something like that, just so I remember what it is. Okay. And then I have two options. I can do just that, and then on the next line, tell it to open a particular file. So I'm going to put sample.txt. That's the file I would like the stream to be connected to. So I can do that as two lines, or if I know right up away, I can do it right here. Okay. If you were um, not in Cloud9, if you were on like a, a desktop and you're using Visual Studio or something, um, this file has to be sitting next to your CPP file to be able to address it this way. Otherwise, you have to put the full path, like the H colon, blah, 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 my documents, all that business, and the folders to get to your file. But since this is right next to my CPP, I can just use its name straight out. Okay. Um, the next thing I have to do is make sure that that opening actually worked because if I didn't successfully open the file, then I can't read from it. And so this is funny, but the function is called fail. So I have to check if um, the open operation failed, then I'll probably get an error message. Um, and then otherwise I can continue to do whatever it was I was going to do. So if it opens successfully, then I can um, do whatever reading I want from it. And the way to do the reading is very simple. Um, you simply make a variable to read into. Uh, okay, you can call it whatever you want. And actually, let's call it text. And then you can use the input in place of a CN. So if I want to read one word from the file, I'll do that. Let's see it out. Let's test if this works. My console is too small. Oh, here, get it up here. There we go. Let's run this again. There is the first word from my file. Let's confirm that it's this. There it is. That's the first word. Okay. Um, if I want to read more than a word, I can use this guy with get line, just like I would use C in with get line. So I'm going to get line in. Oops. Uh, from input, and I want to put it in my text variable, and that should read a full line of text in. So the text inside my sample file, so that gets me this line. And now you may say, well, like, how do I read the rest of that file? Do I have to just keep writing scenes and whatever? No, we want to use a loop. And so um, these reads actually return Boolean values. They return true if they were able to read and false if they weren't. So if I put this as the condition in a loop, um, and I can write this if I want to, but I can also leave it off because it's implied. So if it was able to read, then I'll print it out. Grab this. Uh, let's put an end L so you can tell where the lines end. And it will read the entirety of my file. There's the whole thing. If this was a regular read, it would read word by word. Um, it'll use space as the delimiter, so it will actually lose the spaces. Um, so there's all my words one at a time on a line. Um, 
And so I can read in from a file, and then actually what I'm supposed to do at the end of this is, when I'm finished with the file, just to clean up after myself, I'm going to close it. Um, this will become more important later when you want to reuse files. But that is the basics of reading in from an external file.